Today, the architect of the project behind me will reveal how he made an energy efficient prefabricated building out of bio-based materials and he will share everything about the design and construction process of the project. My name is Anton Doberski, I'm co-founder of the Passive House School and we are certifiers of this Passive House building. I'm very excited about this one, so let's go in and check it out. Follow me. Hi Oko, it's great to be here. I see you've made quite some progress since last time, so please introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is uh, Ilko Dekker from the Netherlands. I uh, live and work in Rotterdam. I uh, have my own uh, architecture company. It's a company of five people in total um, and we are based in Rotterdam. We started in 2010 and well nowadays we make uh, very energy efficient bio-based projects. Like this one behind us, right? Right, we have a very nice example here. So tell us a bit about the, the project, what it is, what is it going to be used for? Well, it is a multifunctional building, which means there are offices and there are also apartments uh, inside. For the ground floor, we will have our own company there. So, uh, architecture studio. This floor is an apartment for someone else with a very nice roof garden later here where we're standing on. And on top, we have two floors in which we will live ourselves, me and my partner Jessica. And on the front side, she will have her garden uh, design studio also in the same building. Amazing. And then I know you have something special on top, which we're going to show later. I'm very curious to see it inside. So should we go in? Let's do that. Welcome to our new architecture office in Rotterdam. Yeah, I want to explain a little bit about the layout of the floor plan here. So we have a lunch room, we have a material room. We can also uh, invite clients here. Uh, a video room and a model room and behind me there will be uh, a conference room for our clients and then all the way in the back where it's still a bit dark our working stations and it's yeah I said it's a bit dark now but uh, there will be two big roof lights uh, opening up soon to get in light from the back of the building and yeah. they also function as a summer night ventilation. Great and the first thing that we can see here, the most prominent thing and interesting, I would say, about the building is that it's made out of COT. So why did you decide to make the building out of COT? Uh, yeah, well, first of all, it's a bio-based product. Eh? So we want to create a building which is sustainable. So we use bio-based bio products as much as possible. It works very quick in building. Eh? So we can build this whole thing, like this whole structure, in three weeks. So that's wow. very fast yeah. for, for a construction site. And what's also handy, it's an airtight product. Huh? So it's already airtight from three layers of COT. And the, the fact that you made it just in three weeks is, is amazing. Like for a standard uh, construction system, it would take probably months to build this building. So yeah. you saved a lot of time during the construction process, but what, how was the design process different? Because probably at the design stage, you had to define exactly where all the sockets are going to be, where the conduits are going to go, how the construction system or the structure is going to fit with the uh, COT. So how did this work and what software did you use for that? Yeah, um, yeah we used, of course, BIM, <laughs> the Archicad model, and to, to check everything. So in this case, we had to prepare all the sockets, uh, all the electricity, uh, already in the floor plans. Normally you would have a little bit more time also in the building process to change things later. Of course we can still do something in the wood, that's also possible, but you want to be uh, ready for the elect electricity, etc. So we also did it with the ventilation system. Uh, everything was laid out on forehand and put in the CLT already and then now the people who need to work on it, like the uh, electrician and ventilation installers can work very fast and uh, quick uh, because everything is prepared. Yeah, using BIM, uh, we only had uh, 3D models to check. Huh? So the company uh, EcoFlynn sent us back the model, uh, the CLT model. Uh, we, we checked it, sent it back and, yeah. and forth and so on. So that's um, very handy and we didn't check any 2D drawings, which uh, yeah. Great. makes the process much faster. Yeah, and probably saved also a lot of uh, errors uh, here on site because when you check everything in 3D, it's all about millimeters, like that everything fits together and with prefab. Yeah, and also all the joints from the steel, it's already in the CLT, so uh, making the process on site much more easy and uh, yeah it, it just fits 
that's the funny yeah. thing. <laughs> and I know that upstairs you have some more interesting details when it comes to the energy efficiency of the building. So should we go upstairs? Yep. Let's do that. So now we're on the first floor of the building and we can see one of the most important components for, of energy efficient buildings, namely the windows. So Ilko, can you tell us a bit more about the windows that you chose? Yeah, we choose uh, windows made from wood and aluminum. They're Pacifar certified windows. The, the wood on the inside has a, a whitewash. Uh, we want to use the same whitewash on the walls in, inside, so it will become very beautiful. They're airtight windows and they have a very low U value. Uh, we positioned them half-half, so half in the CLT, we use the CLT as a construction, uh, so we can mount it uh, towards the CLT, very handy, you don't need anything else. And it's half in the insulation layer, and we calculated it using PHPP, of course, uh, but also the thermal bridge calculation, and we figured out that placing it a little bit more to the inside, we can, could skip the blinds from the outside. Uh, which yeah. you normally have to use for sun protection in the summer. Yeah, definitely. It's great that the fact that you're using these uh, softwares, these calculations, they helped you during the design stage to take the right decisions. Like, okay, where should we exactly position the windows? And the fact that you decided to put it a bit more to the inside, but then save a lot on shading is, uh, is very good and like shows that a lot can be optimized, a lot can be saved even during the design stage. And how long did it take you to, to mount the windows, to install them? Well, with an unexperienced team, we mounted all the windows which are now here in two days, which uh, of course we used a big crane. <laughs> and uh, I even helped myself because I yeah, also want to learn. Uh, and yeah, you can, you can do it even if you're unexperienced. Great. And they just came from the factory like this and then they, were, they placed them inside. They come uh, finished with paint on the inside, glass already mounted, the protection for falling uh, already mounted. Everything is, is ready and yeah. you can just put them in your facade. And, uh, Amazing. So very nice for prefabricated uh, elements. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And could you tell me a bit about the wall buildup? So we have the COT, obviously, and then on the outside we have the insulation. So basically this whole building is wrapped around with insulation, even under the floor slab there is insulation. So what insulation did you choose on the outside of the facade? Yeah, we, we did check some different types of insulation. We ended up with a bio-based insulation, which is made of wood fiber. And we mount it to the outside, of course, of the, of the CLT, just pressing it in between two anchors and some wooden beds. So we don't have to use a lot of insulation anchors, which help a lot. So, and it's a, also a very quick system, thermal bridge free. And we can, in the end, position the, the final panel very precise. And so this final panel is um, uh, yeah, made of, a, I said it, a hard panel with an uh, open perforation in it. So it's a ventilated facade. It will be totally black, the whole building, which will be quite a, a yeah architectural statement. It's going to be a statement, show. yeah, because here in the neighborhood, like all the buildings are from the 20th century and then we're going to have this bio-based, uh, energy efficient uh, statement. Yeah. yeah, so that's, uh, I think it will turn up very nice uh, in the end. Yeah, definitely. Another thing very important here that we see for the energy efficiency are the airtight tapes and in general the airtightness of the building. So let's go and check out some of the details for that. So we already know that uh, CLT is uh, uh, airtight from itself, uh, from three layers of CLT. And we only had to work on all the corners and the anchors of this building, making it airtight with tape. We did it, everything ourselves to learn and understand where you have to put the tape. I did it together with uh, Jessica, my partner. And yeah, we hope um, our work will pass the blower door test. So now I think we need to go to the ventilation system and I'll show you how that will work. So as you already saw, that's a very airtight building. And as passive house professionals, we like to say, build tight and ventilate right. So Ilko, can you tell us a bit about the ventilation system and how it's gonna work? Yes, we use heat recovery ventilation system. So it will recover the heat, also the cold from the air and reuse it in the building. We use for the supply air insulated uh, ducts, the, these black things. So the heat or cool air can come directly to the right spot. And for uh, the uh, extract air, we use non-insulated uh, ducts. And these, this air goes through the unit uh, and then the heat or cold 
will be uh, extracted and reused in the building again. And you mentioned something very interesting that you're going to heat and cool the building via those ducts. So tell me a bit about the, the heating system. What heating system are you going to have here? Yeah, uh, yeah, we do skip floor heating or radiators. And so we can save a little bit of money there and we can do it because it's uh, very well insulated, uh, but also an airtight building. Um, so we use a comfort climb, which can give a little bit of more uh, heat or cold to the air and to make all the rooms uh, comfortable. Yeah, great. And that's only possible because it's a passive house. Like if it wasn't a passive house, it w it, if this building wasn't so energy efficient, it wouldn't have been possible to heat and cool the whole building only via this air that comes through these uh, small ducts. Uh, and another thing is that when people say passive house, they very often think about the only the additional cost. But the fact is that a lot of cost is saved because you don't have these heating or cooling systems. And no maintenance of all these installations. Yeah, yeah. it's also a very good point. So that's going to be a passive house, but how did you decide to get involved in passive house? Tell me a bit about your story. Yeah, it's an interesting story. Well, when we started this building around 2016, think about it, what it should be. We were thinking it should be super energy efficient, bio-based, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But how? Um, at that point, we met Jan Geerts and he inspired us greatly about passive houses. Uh, he helped us a lot with calculations, et cetera. He's still on the project, by the way. Uh, and, but I also wanted to learn myself uh, how things are calculated, uh, also to work on the design, of course. Huh? So when to put a window, uh, make it bigger or smaller. So uh, I wanted to become a, a student and to learn about Passive House myself. And I went to your Passive House school where you teach me everything about passive buildings. Uh, so that was very uh, important for me to do. And, a very good investment for me as an architect. Great. And that, yeah, basically Ilko became a certified Pascal's designer just a few months ago. And it's very inspiring to see that only finishing the course a few months ago, like you, you are already implementing everything that you've learned. Uh, so that's, it's great to see. And then I know that upstairs you have something very special planned. So Ilko, could you tell us a bit more about the green garden that's going to be on top? Yes, of course. Uh, Jessica designed uh, our rooftop garden and she made a design with only native plants. There will be like higher, lower plants and it should also contribute to getting a less warm city. Huh? So uh, skip the urban uh, heat island effect. So with this garden, we keep the roof cool, we keep the building cool, we keep the surroundings cool uh, during the hot summers and we will store water on top of the roof and that will be about 5500 liters of water in our uh, water retention uh, roof. Wow, so that's a very energy efficient building, it's a passive house building, it is made out of bio-based materials, it is nature inclusive and then you have this mini paradise on top of it in the busy city. Exactly. So that's a very impressive project I must say. And what are the main takeaways? So what did you learn throughout this whole process of designing the passive house and also building it? Um, what are the three main takeaways for you? Yeah, first of all, it's not, not difficult to build and design a passive house uh, bio-based building. Second, you're attempting to do too much. Uh, so put too much insulation uh, of places which are not necessary maybe, and we can use the calculations to, uh, well, to, to get more grip on this. Uh, save money where we can save money and spend money where we need to spend money. And uh, as a third point, I think it's also fun uh, building and uh, designing the passive house because, uh, well, uh, we know what the benefits will be in the end, uh, also using these calculations. Yeah, it's, these are very, very good points, especially that a lot of the things are decided or a lot of the decisions are made during the design stage. And, this helps, yeah, this makes the whole process much more fun, but also helps you make the right decisions. Correctly. Yeah. So what are the next steps for you? Are you going to keep working on Passive House projects? Yes, our company already have some new assignments, big and small uh, projects, uh, Passive House projects. And, uh, well, we are also talking to the municipalities in the Netherlands. Uh, and uh, we hear, hear from them that they see Passive House uh, buildings as a solution for the electrical grid overload. So. 
Uh, we explained that passive buildings can lower the energy demand drastically and they think it might be interesting to well work on this on a large scale. And also talking about missions, ja de architecten, we think and want to strive for that the city of Rotterdam becomes the first city in the Netherlands which adopts the passive house standard as their building code for the coming buildings in the future. Yeah, it's an inspiring mission to have. Contact details of the studio you can find below and I must say it's it's great that you have such a mission. We also firmly believe that passive house standard is the way to go uh, in the future because the first thing we have to do with buildings is lower the energy demand. And then we can easily uh, fulfill it with renewable energy generation on site and really make sustainable buildings also by using bio-based materials like in this project. So thanks a lot, Ilko. Thanks for having us over. Thanks for this great tour of this uh, project. I'm very curious also to hear what your opinion is going to be, not only as a past house professional, but as a past house owner, when you start living here and also working in this building. Well, uh, first of all, thank you for the opportunity to shoot this video and showing the building. Of course, uh, the building is not finished yet, like we saw, uh, but we will uh, monitor the building, uh, the indoor climate, etc., like all other passive buildings do. Um, and you're very welcome to visit us again when it's finished and we're living and working in this building. Amazing. I'll be looking forward to it. Thank you. If you want to learn to design and build energy efficient, cost effective and healthy buildings just like Ilko did with this project and become a worldwide accredited passive house professional, check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and see you next time.